Do dishes made with the cheapest and most expensive ingredients taste the same? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. And good mythical PJ day. I am strategically frugal. Some may say it's cheap, but I'm cheap in a cerebral way. For instance, I buy the cheapest ingredients at the store because there is no way the more expensive versions of the same ingredients make any kind of noticeable difference, especially when someone mixes them all up into a thing. That's how you define cooking? Mixing them up into a thing? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I disagree. More expensive ingredients do make better dishes. (laughs) Well, let's put that to the test. It's time for Food Price Fight. Top shelf versus bottom shelf. Gentlemen, before you are two seemingly identical dishes prepared by the Mythical Kitcheneers, but... One was made using only the cheapest ingredients from a grocery store, and the other was made with only the most expensive ingredients from the same store. And first up, we've got Eggs Benedict, made with ingredients from Whole Foods. Also, if you take a look over there, you can see Chase. He's wearing PJs, and he's standing uh, next to podiums. Wow, what a cool thing. Podiums are all the ingredients we used uh, for each dish. You can look over there at both Chase. the podiums and the ingredients. Um, for one point, taste these things, and then I'm gonna ask you to guess which is the cheapest dish huh. of these two. I like an Eggs Benny. Hmm, this is good, I'm, I guess I do too. I've been kind of scared away by the name. It seemed a little too political. <laughs> like you would feel like a traitor for eating it? Mm-hmm. Got the saltiness of the ham. Hmm. You got the squishiness of that egg. And what is that, a bagel, a muffin? English muffin. English muffin? Okay. I'm gonna move my knife and I'm gonna take whatever egg that was off of my... Yeah, I did the same thing. I just rubbed it on the side of the plate. Um, go with the this. reason I thought you wouldn't like it is because of the runny egg, which is kind of the whole yeah. point of a, of a Benny. I'm trying to open myself up to... Eggs? More of a runny egg. What part of yourself are you opening up? The mouth part. Oh, good. And the heart part. Oh, open your heart. It is runny though. Hmm. They're both good. They really are. I don't feel like I tasted. Let me see. Cause when I look over there, you got a lot of three, six, five stuff happening versus the high end stuff. Both of these are good. Yeah, welcome to the Benny world, man. This is a, di- this is a difficult round. Okay, I'm gonna need your hand over the cheaper one. Well, in three, two, one. I mean, I like this one a little bit more. I I just like the taste a little bit more, and I think it was something about the ham is saltier. The ham was saltier. The ham is saltier. Does that make it better or cheaper? Though I think that really is all I was tasting. The cheapest plate of eggs Benedict is on Link's side. Okay. Um, now, Chase, you can go ahead and remove the price tag on the cheaper ingredient podium so we can see the total checkout price there. Now, this is if you bought all these ingredients as they come. Like, you didn't use all 12 eggs, but you had to buy 12 eggs. Right, right. Correct. Now, can you tell me what kind of um, ham that was? See, the thing is, and this is what I was told, Chase, you can confirm since you're near the groceries. I believe that's the one item where there was only one option, so yeah. the ham, Canadian ham, is the indeed same? the same. The same from both. It's, Seriously? Yeah, the and that was the only difference we tasted. Uncured Canadian bacon, same brand, same exact packaging. Oh, but you know what? Fine sea salt and iodized sea salt. That's there good. is a difference, and the fine sea salt tastes better than the iodized sea salt. Well, so if the cheaper ingredient checkout price was thirty one fifty three, and this this part's worth two points for you, so a lot on the line here. Oh no, the iodized tastes better. What, what do you said. think the price of yeah, the expensive checkout cart was? You're guessing the price Chase has not uncovered over there. Hmm. I mean, this is a whole grocery haul. Okay. I thought it was twice as expensive, roughly. I didn't go that hard. I said it was forty six seventy four. Chase, please do the honors. 
Because that stuff adds up. Whoa! Yeah. I'm telling you, man. More than twice as it expensive. It adds up, y'all, even if the ham is exactly the same. Okay. Well, you get the point for the price. And, and there are, Two see, points. I Two told points. you, man, it ain't worth it. This, we need to go with the bargain. Okay, well, before, but we preferred the bougie, but I agree. We didn't we, prefer it enough right. to justify paying more than twice as much for the ingredients. Okay. Eggs, but in it. Eggs, but in it. Bargain. Next up, we have chocolate chip cookies made from scratch with ingredients bought at Walmart. Walmart. Taste away, please. Okay, so a lot of great value. These Did, are very different looking. I mean, yeah, look. This ain't eggs, Benny. What? How could? How could this happen? Okay, let's start with this. Well, oh, well, I wonder if the Mythical Kitchen was feeling fancy when they made them and they made them look different, or if that's really just the ingredients that do that. Hmm. Or maybe they went with the chase approach and just tried their best. Oh, that's what you're doing. Well, you're looking your best, I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. Stop it, guys. I wish I could buy those PJs that we're all wearing somewhere, but more on that later. <laughs> so we got the Ghirardelli chocolate chip. I can I'm, I'm tasting tell. a difference in the chocolate chips. I'm more of the tasting the cookie guy, and I think that tastes better over here. Mm. Okay, well. put your hand over what do you think is the cheapest? Mm -hmm. And three, two, one. We didn't, I didn't like these as much. They're a little bland. This one, it's like it leapt That's forth a great with flavor. Chocolate chip. The cheapest plate of chocolate chip cookies is on Link's side. Oh, okay, dang, we like the cheap cookies, y'all. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. No, she's lying to us. No This whole time. Way. Yeah, so we can go ahead and remove the price tag on the cheap Check out podium. Well, why is that? Twenty three seventy two. Nicole, do you think that there's something? Sometimes cheaper sweet things taste better than the fancy stuff. It just it just does. <sighs> okay. Yeah. So you have to you have to guess what the expensive price would be at checkout. Let's see, mm. the cheap is twenty three seventy two. Well, I'm pretty happy that my assertion at the top. My frugality is 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 winning the day so far. Okay, what did you think, Rhett? Did you double it this time? Thirty nine seventy seven. Oh, thirty nine ninety eight. Oh, <laughs> hey. we are so on the same wavelength in this round. All right, Chase. Let's see. Oh, dang it! <laughs> mm-hmm. It's my it's day. Twenty one cents. Yeah, those two points go to Link again. But uh, what are you picking in the end? Well, I think I'm picking the bargain because we liked it better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we gotta go with the cheap. Chocolate chip cookies, bargain! bargain! Hey, happy Black Friday. It's not just PJ day, but they kinda go hand in hand. We are giving you 30% off site-wide yeah. of mythical.com. Whatever you want to buy, 30% off through this coming Sunday. That's November 26th. We also have this new product, the GMM Pajama what? Set. Let them see it. Yeah, it's a top and it's a bottom. And they match. They go together. Uh, iconic <laughs> elements of the good mythical set. We so got comfy. the globe, the microphone, the cockatrice, and... You know, the tape recorder that lives right over here also they lives. They feel real good, right y'all. They feel real good. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know what material and this you can, is, I'm, but it's like. You can pop the collar. It's got a little sheen to it. Chase. There a you go. softness to it. Oh. It feels nice. Um, wear it when you're shopping all of our Black Friday deals mm -hmm. next year. We're also giving you 25% off monthly uh degrees, first, second, and third, of the Mythical Society through Monday, okay? So through Monday, you can get that 25% off that's the Mythical that's Society. That's a quarter. That's a quarter off. That's a quarter off. Not a not 25 cents, like a quarter of the total. Yes. MythicalSociety.com. I understand. All right, let's bring in these cheeseburgers for our final round, and they are made from ingredients bought at Ralph's. Good old Ralph's. Ralph's or, got some good stuff. As, as uh, Nancy, my dad's wife, Calls it Pete's. Yeah, well, you know what she's talking about. I don't know why, but she kept calling it Pete's. Yeah, well, um, maybe she got some Pete's coffee at Ralph's. Mm, yes, yeah, so we got. I think the pickle might be the thing that helps us the most here. You want to start with the pickle? 
I can't say if that's a horrible pickle. You want to bite the burger first? I like to cut it. Okay. Okay. That's a big slab of onion. Thank you for going tomato-less. Hmm. You're welcome. We've got mustard, ketchup. There's nothing wrong with that burger. Ain't got nothing to complain about with this burger. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a good burger. I like the way you put the mustard at the bottom. Fancy. <laughs> or is it? You want me to cut on the crack or across the I mean, crack? Right on that butt crack, yeah. Oh. That's what it's there for, right? You want me to get my, the pickles too? Go all the way to the pickles and cut some pickles? Yeah, cut the pickles. <clears throat> right. It's a bigger pickle. Mm. I, don't, I don't like that pickle as much. I mean, the the bun had a crack in it. Isn't that automatically a fa a fancy? fancy bun. Fancy buns have cracks. But nowadays they got like the Ralph's brand that's supposed to be fancy. Huh. It's a good burger, but... It's not as good as this burger. What's missing? What is missing? It's a better burger. Hmm. It's a better burger. <laughs> it's a better pickle. All right. Huh. Yeah. This one's okay. obvious to me. Hand over the cheaper burger. Three, two, one. I think nope. the cheaper one's better. Yeah, but you put your hand over the cheaper one. <sighs> yeah, I did. This is the cheaper one. It's better. That's the more expensive one. What? You put your hand You're over the cheaper your one. Hand you put the over hand over the, the one cheaper one. That's the cheapest. Yes, yeah, I like the cheaper one better. You think the cheaper one's better? Yeah. <laughs> that that can't be true. In this case, you can't because I can see that's Kobe beef, man. The cheapest cheeseburger is on Rhett's side. Yeah, man. The yeah. cheaper's better. Mm. Mm. So again, I was I was wrong, but I'm validated in my position. So I'm voting I've been voting against myself. All three rounds. I didn't believe in myself. I mean, two of the rounds we preferred the bargain. In the first one, we didn't we didn't think the bougie was worth it. So we've learned a good lesson here. But let's see the price. Lent, you have the opportunity, not for a queen sweep, but to get queen sweeps in the pricing. If you can beat me in the pricing, I mean, you'll really hurt my pride. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna try hard. Twenty four seventy four. That's not bad for how many burgers are in that chase? Four. Four. So you know you're making four burgers. That's six dollars, six dollars and something a burger. That ain't bad. And you got four buns and left over. And it tastes great. That Kobe beef, they're gonna, they're gonna set you back for that crap. Okay. <clears throat> All right, what's your number? I said forty-seven sixty-one. I said fifty dollars and one cents. Let's see. Come on. Oh, oh I, I do finally it. got you. You were so close. I got man. you. Yeah, this is well, why you still won. This burger's so much better. Cheaper burger, better. Cheaper cookies better. So cheeseburgers, bargain. Mm -hmm. Two out of three rounds, we preferred the bargain. In the first round, we actually thought the bargain was, you know, good enough to not pay for the bougie. You don't need to be paying so much for your ingredients. Just make your stuff good. I was right. When you mix stuff, get the cheap stuff. Give me my prize. You were right, and and you win an assortment of items from Walmart's clearance section. So cheap Ooh, stuff. Look at you. I Just got a like sixteen dollar like. bird feeder. Wow, that's nice. I've got a fuzzy fuzzy book. Fuzzy book. I got some root touch up. You need okay, it. Okay, I can take a hint. Some Dark Star six thousand X clean and beauty. Oh, Triple six thousand X. This is gonna make me six thousand times darker. Awesome. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Cassie. And I'm Paul. And we're in Oklahoma City, standing in front of Rhett's Meat Market. And it's time, it's time to, to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. Oh, I was hoping you wouldn't find my meat market in Oklahoma City. <laughs> you don't want people to buy your meat? No, it's my little secret place. Oh, why well, you have such a big sign? Click the top link, I don't know why. Click the top link to watch us rank the most ridiculous reusable tote bags like this one that's got cat balls on it. And get mythical more. And if I'm with the wheel of mythicality. It's Black Friday. Enjoy 30% off store-wide. Check out our pajama set and get 25% off monthly degrees of Mythical Society.